Hi guys, you're watching Bloodstock TV, the very epicenter of all things heavy. And I am sitting here with Jude from the mighty Acid Age. How are you, man? Living the dream. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Hey, Oren, you're even better looking in real life. Lovely to oh. meet you. <laughs> no, lovely to meet you as well. We've, uh, we were just saying we've, we've probably passing ships in the night between yeah, yeah. Northern Ireland and Ireland. And we've never Belgium. formally met. We've never though, formally so met. But let's start the Mecca of there heavy we go. metal. It's what the a perfect, perfect place. place to meet. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Speaking of which, man, uh, you're back, like, it's two years in a row, winning Metal to the Masses last year. Metal to the Masses Northern Ireland, by the way. Big shout out to James, absolute solid guy who runs that there in, uh, in Belfast. And it's great to see you having moved up to the Sophie stage, which is just a tremendous honour. I've seen other Metal to the Masses bands in the past that have gone up to that stage, and then some that have bounced on even up to the Ronnie James Dio stage. My question is, and it's a little bit cliched, does it feel really surreal to be back here just a year later again, you know, and, and more importantly, getting on that bigger stage? It absolutely was. It's We've all agreed as a band that was the best gig we've ever had for the crowd, for the audience, just the experience of the moment, going out there and feeling the roar of the audience and the energy. And, you know, to be asked to open the Sophie Lancaster stage on Thursday, so we had to do the pink for Sylvia, you know. Of course. Our bass player, uh, I had this wee gizmo here. Yeah. Our bass player, Jake, had uh, neon pink bass strings too. So oh, we I had didn't, to do... I didn't, I must, uh, yeah, I didn't his notice bass strings, that. Yeah, okay. so it was just absolutely <laughs> phenomenal for us and just an unreal experience and a true honour to be able to do it, you know, the Sophie Lancaster stage on Sylvia's day. And for a band from Northern Ireland who's just been slugging it out for years now and just loving every moment. What, and you know, you say slugging it out and you absolutely have. I mean, it's like I've been kind of following everything that you guys are doing and just the momentum and the build up. And I mean, just even talking about the album, Semper, Semper Pessimus, mm -hmm. can I get that right? Uh, just that album just sort of exploded. Uh, reviews were fantastic. Everyone was chatting about it. Um, just just goes to show like the amazing music that is coming out of, of, of Northern Ireland. In um, Ireland as a whole, if you think of Ireland, it's amazing to see bands succeed because it's like a penny in the middle of a table. You know, you have to fly to play anywhere. You know, yeah. if you're a European band, you know, if you're in, from France, say, you can just tour throughout the continent and just get in a van and go. But for an Irish band, it's a bit tougher. You have to fly Very out. Very much and, you know, so. Yeah, and, yeah. That's why it's amazing for us to be invited to such prolific events like Bloodstock. Yeah. yeah. No, listen, it's it's an absolute pleasure to have you. But just going back to that album, um, you know, the, the, the themes on the album, very dark, complex themes, as is the music. I love the, the self-titled genre, which is war jazz. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, so just go, just w when you were putting the, you know, lyrically putting the songs together from the album to for the album, what, what you know, wh where was your influence coming from, from some of those really darker kind of themes? Okay, so the album Semper Pessimus is a concept album about Nero, who was the last Roman emperor of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. And it was so weird because as we were releasing and working on those songs, a lot of the burning of Rome was happening around us simultaneously. So it was during the whole COVID thing and the whole lockdown thing. And, you know, there was people rioting everywhere and there was protests. And, you know, there was one song on the album called Severed Outcome. And the first line is, behead my statue. And as that happened, the Edward Colston statue got pulled down. And I literally was in the studio writing it. And then the next day this happened. It was like so bizarre that it was just going Gosh. on. It, was, it felt like we were literally living in Nero's room, you know? Jesus Christ. And it just made it easier to relate to, you know? And for us to write a concept album, we just wanted to pick a cool concept and keep it heavy, phenomenally brutal and just mm. nice and psychedelic, you know? But it just all seemed to unfold before us. So it was really moving to see people getting into it and like you say all the reviews were so yeah, no, positive it really and, yeah. was yeah and it was kind of one of those like there are certain bands that you can kind of i guess cherry pick that uh you know just i don't want to say covid work for them because that's not what this is about but they, they came out of that really fucked up period and it it had a kind of a an, a, a totally different sort of uh, influence um and it it kind of was, I suppose, in some ways, was it was a catalyst underneath how you were feeling and the emotions with the album. And I think this was one of those albums, you know, that it, it definitely had an influence on it. But it, it is a fantastic album. And everyone, please 
check it out. I mean, Christ, all you have to do these days is just reach out, yeah, grab your phone, absolutely. get onto Spotify. It's the best and, thing about now, like yeah. music's instantaneous, isn't it's, it? It's immediate, as they say. Um, so let's just talk about, uh, you mentioned there about Ireland, Northern Ireland, and uh, and Medals of the Masses is, is just a huge part of your story, I suppose, um, with last year and leading to this year, and just the camaraderie between bands. And I wanted to just get an insight, if, like, the the scene from Northern Ireland is is extremely vibrant, considering how small the population is, and and that goes for the whole of Ireland. It's incredibly vi vibrant, but do you feel that the the introduction and the momentum of Metals to the Masses has has been some kind of a shot of a, of adrenaline almost into the local scene? I absolutely love Metal to the Masses, and I'm constantly telling bands to go and take a stab at it, you know, because. See, the worst case scenario is you're going to play in front of a packed out audience of people who've never heard you and you're going to get great stage, great lights, great sound, awesome photos, which helps the social media yeah. and all that, you know. What an experience, you know. It was just an absolute blessing for us to be involved and then to win last year and come and play the New Blood stage here. Oh, we had the time of our lives, you know. It was something else I just was like wired to the moon I couldn't sleep for weeks you know yeah. and then to be invited back again this year it goes to show that it does have a springboard effect for bands you know yeah and it's worth doing so you'll be nudging Simon ah, three's three's a charm three's a charm <laughs> right a charm. we're a trio so <laughs> yeah absolutely one for each year um so just uh where are you now with um you know obviously the album's out for a bit now but where new music what's happening in that uh, in that aspect so this is our last gig before we go into the studio and start tracking for perilous compulsion which okay. is our next album and it's not a concept album it's just lots of cool different songs we played some of them tonight went amazing so you know we think we think we've got the biggest sound and the biggest production that we can really get because the thing about the war jazz thing is it's basically psychedelic thrash metal but we want it you know really mental and just extravagant musicianship but phenomenally brutal so that if you don't give a crap about musicianship you can still get the head down and just uh, just get yeah. your stank face on you know? yeah absolutely um so that you when did you say you were recording that in september S september wow okay so are you just going to kind of sit in that now until next year so or will we see something coming out before the okay end of so it looks like january will be our first music video okay um and it'll be out early next year so that the, the album itself no not not that late oh, okay, we're right. maybe looking at march time Okay. So, and again, thanks to James Loveday because, you know, he's been just championing us and oh, absolutely. pushing us forward. They've so. literally, the, the holding so much together. I mean, he's he's such an amazing He's a guy. force of nature. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, just another band I just want to shout out to is Lockhorns as well. Just yeah. so awesome. Red Room, that album. Um, Phenomenal. Amazing. Just Phenomenal. amazing album. Um, yeah. So we look forward to that. Uh, um next year new album coming out next year and then the final thing i just want to know is in a long-term kind of basis like what would you like to see happen obviously it's you know for acid age yeah 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 so i mean let's say we're going into 25 what about the, the idea of i mean getting into mainland europe and touring is that something that is yeah we want to play every toilet sized venue we will play your house we'll play your wedding we'll play a bar mitzvah yeah. whatever you've got you know a kid's birthday you name it we want to play everywhere all the time as much as possible mm -hmm. if i have to be home any day next year it's going to be a failure you know? <laughs> right <laughs> that's the mission excellent so open to just about anything absolutely awesome. bring it all on awesome stuff well listen jude thank you so much for hey, taking the time pleasure. Bloodsack TV, Acid Age, just a band that you completely and utterly need to know about. Just, you can find everything online and lots of exciting things happening for this band. And yeah, just go for it, Acid Age. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Jude. Amazing. Legend. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Thank you.